Hey everybody, it's Tristan here from Tristan's Tris Hobbies. It's been a while since I've done an actual proper video, not like a live stream or a montage, but I have something super important and I'm super excited to show you guys, which is gonna be some of my K-pop collection, um, specifically JYP's newest girl group and mix. And mix is my favorite band currently. And here I have my twice table poster and I want to show you guys a couple of things that I just got. So before I get into probably what you guys wanting to watch this video for which is the album unboxings, I want to quickly show you my NMIX photo card collection which is not official unfortunately. They are fan made but I got them from Artbox about $15 and it came with 25 and they're plastic as well, which was honestly, I found it to be such an amazing steal. They're all NMIX um, from their different eras, but they do not include Ginny, so it is the current member lineup. It was made after Ginny left, which is okay with me because it's more recent. Um, and I didn't really become a fan of NMIX until about their experience ago. Uh, come back, which is the album, one of the albums that I bought, um, which already Jenny left um, when Experio came out. But these are really, really, really nice. I think they're really well made. They're plastic, all plastic, and they're all clear as well. I have some of these um, group photo ones here as well, and duo ones. I'll just show you the quality of these. I'll take Jiwoo show you how it looks like. So it is a bit transparent usually and it is plastic. It is thinner I think than the usual photo cards but that's because it's been fan made and that kind of makes sense. I also took one of the photo cards and added it to my compass card, my metro card and kind of DIY'd them together-ish. I didn't want to tape it because I didn't want to ruin the photo card, but it looks really nice. I just keep it with me whenever I tap out we see and mix. Okay, so I have the a full album, Spirgo, which is a bit older, but it is still 2023, um, around spring when it released. And I also have a mini album, Midsummer and Mix Stream, which is their newest one, which has Party O'Clock and Roller Coaster in it. And this one is, I believe, the indoor party, you know, the sleeping, um, sleepwear photo volume. And this one is the second volume of Xperia, not the black and white one as well. They're pretty similar between volume one and volume two. They just have different photo books, of course, but I only wanted one of each because they have the same CD, same, basically same everything so for just a photo card. So just for collection's sake, I only needed one. Let's start first with the slightly older one, Spear Go, and get on with the unboxing of the full album. I'm pretty scared to open this honestly because I really don't want to ruin the packaging, but I'll show you the back. First, this is how exactly it came. I had a friend deliver it all the way from Korea. They do sell these in Canada, but they are pretty much double the price. So he was already there and I asked him if he could pick it up for me. And it came in pretty good condition because my friend was able to take care of it and there was no UPS shipping the classic way they do it and ruin everything that you buy. I'm gonna remove the outer layer. Okay, in terms of the packaging itself, I've heard that they're trying to make it more like thin and environmentally friendly, which I don't think makes sense to me because no matter what, I'm not I'm not throwing away the packaging. It's it's so valuable to me, but it is pretty much like cardboardy I'd say the um, lettering is like kind of reflective to the light but I don't really have any complaints with it I mean it's just the packaging 
which is important but not as important as the contents inside it's got this little rip thing which i'm 100 percent sure i'm gonna mess up maybe oh successfully did it okay there we go and it just fold open the back here i believe and we have the contents inside oh i'm so excited yeah, I don't want to look at that photo card yet. That's going to be for last. Let me just make sure nothing else inside. Okay, I'll put this to the side for now. So we have CD. I'm not sure why there's a check mark. Does that mean that that's, it only has one song? I'll try it, but it has a check mark next to Love Me Like This, which is my favorite song. I do know the choreo to it. <laughs> so I'm um, so, at least that's that's a plus side if it's only one song. Nice luck. It says, information in order to love others, we must first love ourselves just the way we are. And so we've decided to get closer to the whisper in our hearts for the dreams that you dare to dream really do come true. Wow. And Mix has been known to have quite a lot of lore behind their things. You can see my face in my phone. It's very, very reflective and it's got the spin go on the CD. Very nice. I'll put that back here. Simple packaging, simple design. Quite nice. It's also got this little... Oh, I think this is the lyrics. Very cool. Yeah, it's got the lyrics to all the songs. Home, my gosh, just did it. Password, love me like this, and young dumb stupid. Yeah, can't read Korean, but of course I know every single one of those songs because I'm addicted just like that. <laughs> Once again, pretty simple packaging. It's got the credits on the back and the lyrics in the front. Okay, now what do we have here first? I think this is just, uh, oh, this is the connect the dots to make a little, little thing, a little illustration. I'll do that later when I have time, maybe. It's got the cover in the front of the very nice activity to do. And then, yeah, here we go. So we got two out of the four um, photo books. Start with number three. I'm just not sure which one has the photo card. Um, um, okay, wait. I tried to shake it out, but it's not coming out. So, let me just try. Give me a second. I'm gonna try and get the photo card. I have got the photo card out, but I'm not gonna look at it. Okay, photo card is out of this one. It was out in this one. I don't think there's another one in here. I'll double check later, but Amor, here we go. In order to love others, this is the same quote as in the CD, I think. Oh my gosh. Jiwoo. Then, wow, so there's Jiwoo, then this. Hey Won, Hey Won is my bias, so I really hope I get her, but we'll see. We have Lily, Salyun. We have the fake tattoos for this concept. There's Heiwan again. These are really nice. Huge. All of them together. In terms of the quality of the photo book, it's pretty much just like normal paper. I don't think it's like poster paper or anything. It's kind of slightly thicker than usual. The photos are very nice. Concept photos are very, very nice. For sure, this is keepsake just to look through it very, very well. There's Bay. And then... Is this a letter? I'm not sure. I can't be Korean. <laughs> I might have to Google Translate that in the future. Okay. 
There's the first photo book. The second photo book is here. I'm gonna double check again to see if there is a photo card in it. Give me no list. photo card in this one, which is what I expected. But we'll open it. Same quote again as the CD. This is a very different concept. I like it. Different costumes, more flowery, more colorful, and these are huge photos. Honestly, it reminds me a little bit of the uh, Midsummer Nights and Mixes Dream sorry, concept, which is the very flower, outdoorsy, very nice. They're all very big photos, which is really nice. So even the photo books have different concepts themselves, like the design. Very nice photos though. There we go, we got a, a group photo. Hey Wan, Lily, Kitchen down here, Sully, Bay, and uh, Jiwoo. Wait, yes, Jiwoo. <laughs> I always get Jiwoo and Kitchen mixed up sometimes. Okay, wow, this is a really nice photo of Lily, actually. I like this one a lot. Briefly skimming through them. Jiwoo, very nice one. Sully. When it comes to end mix, all of them are my favorite. Heiwon is definitely my main bias, but like I, <laughs> I prefer every single member of end mix over any member in any other band, except for maybe Dayan or. Jisoo from Blackpink, maybe Santa, but like, yeah, that's how much I really think the NMIX members are so amazing, so talented, and that's how I've become an answer and a huge fan. That's why they are the first album that I've ever bought, and instead of choosing two bands, I just decided to buy two NMIX albums <laughs> when I had the chance, because that's just so much. How much I love them. Now I think we can look at the photo card. I have it here. I have not looked at it yet. But feeling it actually now that I think about it. Honestly, the quality of it is pretty similar to the fan made one that I just showed earlier in terms of the thinness of it. But let's see. <gasps> no <laughs> way. <laughs> My luck is one trillion. I'm actually shocked. I'm actually so happy. I'm actually so happy I got Heiwan. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, there's a signature and a little message. But no. Heiwan is my ulti bias. Ulti, 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 ulti bias. From any single band. She's so funny. So pretty. The best leader. Great vocalist, dancer, everything. I'm so happy I have her now. I I was just waiting, hoping on Jehwan, and luckily I did. Whew. Now I'm gonna go and open up the second mini album okay. for you guys. Okay, I need a couple of minutes to breathe. <laughs> I'm recording this like ten minutes later because I needed some time to process the photo card and the album overall. But now, let's get straight into the second one. A Midsummer and Mixus Dream. I think the packaging for this is a lot better. I feel like the the plastic wrap is a lot tighter, and I think it looks a lot cleaner too. But it also is gonna cause me a bit of problem opening this. I think I can like pull from here. Okay. Getting this from my friend in Korea. Um, my phone was dying and I was panicking and I didn't do enough research and I really actually wanted to get the outdoorsy fairy concept because I found that was so unique compared to any other um, K-pop group but I accidentally asked them to get me the indoor pillow fight sleepover concept slightly unfortunate but it's okay Look at how nice this packaging is though, I think. It's a lot better, I think. It's got this like little paper protection sheet and this sticker here. 
and I don't want to open the sticker. I don't want to rip this, so I think I can just slide it out. It's got like a little bit of reflection too, similar to the Xperia. I think I can just oh yeah yeah that should be good because I don't want to ruin it. <laughs> Carefully sliding. Okay yeah, there we go. I'm for sure, I think this feels more like a book. Honestly, it's like laminated. Basically, and everything is just one together. <gasps> okay, okay, I don't want to look at that. Wait, wait, I think that's the Polaroid. Okay, Polaroid to the side. It just. Okay, okay, I closed my eyes, guys. Don't worry, I closed my eyes. You guys probably saw it, but I closed my eyes. So, put that to the side as well. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. I'll show you guys all that stuff later. I just want to get. Okay, so, it's got some. Lavender stickers as well. Very cool. I'm gonna use that to cover up the photo card and and the other stuff there, so I can't see anything. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So. Yeah. I think for sure this feels like it's just better quality overall than the Xperia Go. Oh. You can see the party o'clock. This is party o'clock's lyrics. Which out of the two songs, originally I really loved Roller Coaster. I party o'clock did not rub on to me as well as Roller Coaster did on the first listen. But now <laughs> I'm addicted to party o'clock. <laughs> Learned the whole choreo. Oh my gosh. Roller Coaster. Honestly, I found the choreo a bit harder. That's why maybe I kind of. But still, both songs are absolute bangers that I listen at least three times a day each. Like, minimum three times. Maximum like ten times each, honestly. It's a bit unhealthy. But this is really cool packaging with this, like, it's like plastic. And then you can see through to the group photo. Another group photo. Yeah, you can see this is the, um, this is the sleepover concept. Which is honestly fine. They're both part of the music video with the theory and the sleepover concept. Very nice photos. I just found the fairy one to be a bit more unique. You know? This is kind of the thing that you get. If you already have the fairy one, if you want to get both, you should get both. But if you're gonna get one, I'd probably recommend just getting the fairy one. But it's okay. I'm still really happy. Oh my gosh, hey one looks so pretty big. Oh, I'm not fanboy. I'm not fanboy. <laughs> Guys, I promise you I'm not a sim. I'm just a big I'm just a big fan. I'm just a big fan. <laughs> if I ever have the chance to go see them now, I would not hesitate to spend all my life savings. Wow. This is so nice. All these photos. There's a lot more photos I think in here. Yeah, I was watching the behind the scenes and they actually used real bubbles when they were taking these photos. And the hidden, hidden meaning about the bubbles is like, they never pop. Just like the relationship between Answer and Enmix, how their bond is so strong, something like that. Which I find is kind of metaphorical, kind of cute. Here we go. Doesn't Jimu kind of look like Ayu in that photo? By Trippin. Kinda looks like Ayu. I don't know. I mean I'm tripping. Maybe I've been watching too much Hotel de Luna or something. <laughs> yeah. I remember these photos or them taking these in the behind the scenes YouTube video they had on their YouTube channel. There's a lot more photos here though than the Spear Girl. Although the book itself is smaller. I swear she looks like Ayu here, bro. She actually does. I think. Oh. He wants obviously my first, but my second, third. It's. It's really tied. I really like. I I always thought Selian was gonna be my second bias. But then I found Bay to be really funny with Heiwan. 
then I watched some of the Jibu's vlogs and I found her really funny. And then I realized how unhinged Lily was. And then I realized how funny Kijin can be also. So now I don't even know who's my second and third because they're all they're all just too good. Honestly. They're all just too good. Whoever designed this photo book though really need photography this really nice. Well so this one doesn't have the plastic thing, but this is roller coasters lyrics. Can't you see? Can't you see? Yeah. Hope I don't get copyrighted. <laughs> yeah, the lore again, once again, just goes crazy. Let's get the page. There we go. Just a couple of solo portraits. Some thank you notes at the end. I think these are some credits and we got the disc here, which is instead embedded into the book itself. And I think that this has a much nicer design as well than the Xperia Go. Just look at it. It's like, got the disc part in it so you can actually play, but it says with Summer and Mix's Dream. And it's got like these lavender flowers in it. And this clear part is also so cool. This is for sure like display worthy disc. Out of the two, um, honestly think the new mini album looks nicer. Just the photo, based on the photo and photo book and the quality of everything overall. Let's look at some of the perks, the other stuff that came with it. So you saw the lavender already. It also comes with, oops, sorry. A little bookmark. It says, on a summer night, decorated with the colorful scent of love and idleness, I have invited you to the woods that only I know. In person, it looks a lot more clear than, the, than when I'm looking through the camera, but it is a bit like translucent. Very nice little bookmark there, Midsummer and Mixed Stream as well at the end. Then we have. <clears throat> Polaroid. Okay. What do we have here? There is no way my RNG is this good. There is actually no way my RNG is this good. This is luck 1 billion. To get Haywater again. <laughs> I don't know if it's good or not to get a repeat, but I'll, I'll take it for sure. I don't know what this meaning is, but I'll read it. But for sure, <laughs> I'm gonna be carrying this around with me too. Polaroid. Wow. This is unique. I don't know how many other albums from other bands do Polaroids, but this is really nice. I like this. Now, the photo card I've been waiting for. I'm not sure if I revealed it in the beginning or not, but I'll show it to you guys. Oh, yep. Hey. Very cool. Very, very, very cool. I'll take that, honestly. Because like I said, I'm not sure who my second bias is, but Bay was definitely up there. It was probably either, probably wanted either Bay, Salian, or Jibu, maybe. Those three I was hoping for. So this is nice. I'm glad I have Bay and Heiwon as my photo cards. Right here. So I have Hey Bay. Or Bay One, whichever one you. I think the official one is Hey Bay, but I always say Bay One. So cool! I'm so happy. That's very nice. After research the meanings behind these again, about their signatures and the photo cards. So yeah. Okay, so there we go. There's the unboxing of the two albums. I'm super happy with what I got. Um, actually, I'm so happy about the random stuff that I got, and. Yeah, I think it was definitely worth it. I'm a huge fan though, and I'm definitely gonna be buying, <laughs> unfortunately, or fortunately, a lot more K-pop merch from other bands as well in the future. So if you enjoyed this video, 
and you may learn something or find it interesting please make sure to drop any comments down below on your thoughts and also please leave a like and subscribe so that you can be up to date and get notified whenever I release any new videos in the future whether K-pop or other things and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Once again, I'm Tristan from Tristress Hobbies. Bye-bye!